my, my, my pictures are a very personal thing. I mean, they probably be anyone's pictures. Uh, how I, I get the ideas, I get the ideas in various ways, but at least all the pictures that are here are ideas that have just come to my mind like this. Boom! Like, really, the finished picture was already in front of my eyes. This is um, a pattern that uh, comes to my mind very often, this um, tiles, I mean, uh, there are a few shapes, geometrical shapes, in, that can cover space and surface. And the most efficient one is the hexagon. And uh, for me, what is important here is not the, the solid tile, it's really uh, this line. For me, these are energy networks. Mm -hmm. And these are, the, these are pictures of, uh, of water that I have made. And, uh, and it's a little bit in relation to the, uh, what I said here. These pictures of water, what interests me are the networks of energy mm -hmm. in the water. And there you have two layers of network. You have the surface of the water. That, and then if you look very carefully, there is another network underneath of the tiles of the bottom of the swimming pool that you can see. So there are two layers of... Uh, of uh, tiled uh, structures there. I am Ana Arana, my name is Ana Arana, I am Spanish, I am uh, a lawyer, I came to Brussels first to study European law, a master's in European law. This was around 20 years ago, it was meant to be for one year and then I stayed here, <laughs> more or less. So now I'm working in the European Commission and currently I am Deputy Head of Cabinet of uh, the Irish Commissioner for Research, Innovation and Science. I like science very much, I, I really love science, I read about science, I have always read about science, I'm always interested in data developments. This was the, uh, the part of the newspapers I read always with most interest, <laughs> and it's very funny. And then you see this picture here, uh, this is a part that I like very much, and it, ha it happens to uh, the uh, last year's uh, Nobel Prize, Physics Nobel Prize, who won its prize on a, uh, a new material they found, it was called graphene that really looks a lot like this. <laughs> so I have decided to put these pictures here because of course being in a science and innovation cabinet, I thought it was very, I mean, uh, a nice coincidence. So I don't paint anymore so much, but I always think as myself as a painter because I always think about ideas and how, what I should paint, how I would paint if I had time and so on. So, <laughs> so I have studied, uh, I think, seven languages, but I am out of practice. Uh, for some of them, so I think now I would say I couldn't, I can speak five languages, which are Spanish, my mother tongue, French, English, German, and Russian. I have also studied Basque a lot and uh, Italian. Also, the Sprachen sind wichtig, weil äh, mit Sprachen kann man andere Leute verstehen, aber die, für mich ist die Sprache auch schön. So, es gefällt mir wirklich, neue Sprache zu lernen. Ich bin neugierig, das begeistert sogar, eine neue Sprache zu lernen. Und, äh, Ja, das, deswegen macht es mir Spaß. Ich habe es nicht nur gemacht, weil es äh, nützlich war, aber auch weil es mir Spaß machte, alle diese Sprachen zu lernen. Mhm. Und natürlich äh, nachher, äh, äh, die sind tatsächlich äh, 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 nützlich, wie gesagt. Bon, le français, j'ai commencé à l'apprendre assez tôt. Je crois que j'avais 10 ans, même avant que ce soit obligatoire. Euh, Je suis en Espagne, je viens de Saint-Sébastien, une ville qui est à 30 km de la frontière française. Mais euh, récemment, j'étais dans le cadre de mon euh, travail, maintenant, au Canada, au Québec, euh, dans une conférence de haut niveau, en train de remplacer ma commissaire. Je me demandais comment les politiciens là-bas, les ministres là, les premiers ministres, allaient gérer les langues. Et je me suis dit que j'allais faire la même chose que eux, mais je ne savais pas très bien à quoi ça allait consister. J'ai vu qu'ils faisaient des discours en anglais, français mélangés. Ce n'était pas des gros paragraphes en anglais et en français, l'un après l'autre, mais c'était des petites phrases, chacune dans sa langue. Je me demandais comment les traducteurs pouvaient vraiment switcher leur langue et traduire tout ça, mais il y avait des traducteurs. Et alors j'ai fait la même chose, et bon, après le retour était assez positif. Je crois qu'ils ont été même un peu impressionnés que je sois capable de, de faire ça. Et Et bon, on m'a beaucoup félicité moi-même, je ne me trouvais pas particulièrement euh, bonne, mais bon, apparemment les gens étaient contents que j'ai pu faire ça. Pour moi, comme je viens de la Basque country, c'était aussi quelque chose d'intéressant de voir comment les linguistiques étaient traitées ou traitées, ou en tout cas traitées dans les différents pays. Les pays sont toujours différents. Et c'est 
uh, a tricky issue, but I, I am very much in favor of preserving local languages and promoting them. I'm very happy that Basque, for instance, has been recovered. It was forbidden uh, to speak Basque uh, when I was born in the Basque country. You could go even to jail. You would seriously go to jail just for, uh, because you spoke uh, Basque in the street. So when I, the dictator Franco died, I was 10, and uh, then immediately I decided myself I would speak, uh, I would learn Basque. And uh, of course there were no books, no nothing, so it was really hard because we were s starting from really a blank chick, blank chick. And, um, and there were even no people to practice in towns so the language had been uh, lost. Some people created, uh, I mean, artificially out of the, the various dialects, a uh, unified language that did not exist before. So taking elements from different dialects, so people do this study which study this dialect. And, the methods to study them were changing at the beginning every year. Every year they would find a new method that was meant to be better than the one before. But it was not after a few years there were really good books on, uh, to be able to study. So now practically all children and uh, teenagers speak uh, Basque, which is really something that I'm happy about. It shows that uh, when uh, one has the political will, it is possible to recover a language. Mm -hmm. Aquí en la comisión es muy fácil practicar muchas eh, lenguas, ¿no? En el gabinete irlandés, eh, bueno, una lengua vehicular normal es el, el, el inglés, a pesar de que la comisaria, su lengua materna es el gaélico, y además ella fue, la primer, fue ministra de las regiones gaélicas en, en Irlanda, pero en fin, aquí el inglés se usa mucho, pero claro, la, cada, cada persona tiene una nacionalidad distinta, y por ejemplo, mi secretaria es eh, alemana y practico con ella, o hablo con ella alemán, pero también a veces francés, porque ella estudió en Francia, y otros idiomas, luego la gente llama por teléfono y a veces no hablan bien inglés, y no notas tú, y por el acento sabes que, y cuál es su lengua materna, y les hablas directamente su lengua materna, y están, se ponen muy contentos, y es útil, la verdad, y luego también es, es divertido, ¿no? en estar aquí en un sitio donde se pueden practicar tan fácilmente tantas lenguas. I love languages, me gustan los idiomas.